Have you ever wondered why the Amazon forest is often referred to as the lungs of the earth? This illustrious title is no whimsical metaphor. It's a testament to the forest's crucial role in our planet's well-being. The Amazon rainforest, which spans eight countries in South America, is quite literally a colossal wonder of nature. Covering a staggering 2.1 million square miles, it's so large that it's almost impossible to grasp its full scale. Picture this, if you will. This vast forest is larger than all of the following combined, the entirety of Western Europe, from Portugal to Poland, plus another United Kingdom tossed in for good measure. This vast expanse of green is not just a sight to behold, but it also serves as the home for an astounding array of life. The Amazon is a living, breathing menagerie teeming with a diverse array of species. From the elusive jaguar to the vibrant macaw, from the mighty anaconda to the tiny poison dart frog, the Amazon is a veritable arc of biodiversity. It's estimated that the Amazon houses at least 10% of the world's known species. But the Amazon is not just a repository of life, it's also a vital cog in the machinery of our global climate. The forest's dense vegetation acts as a massive sponge, soaking up carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. This process, known as carbon sequestration, helps to regulate the global climate, mitigating the effects of climate change. The forest also plays a key role in the water cycle. Through a process called evapotranspiration, the Amazon's trees release vast amounts of water into the atmosphere, contributing to rainfall patterns across the globe. This is why the Amazon is not just a South American treasure, but a global one. Indeed, the Amazon forest's role in our world's ecosystem is as immense as its size. So, what exactly makes the Amazon the lungs of the Earth? Well, let's start with a simple process that's integral to life on our planet. Photosynthesis. This process, carried out by plants, uses sunlight to convert carbon dioxide and water into glucose, a type of sugar that provides energy for the plant, but that's not all. An essential byproduct of photosynthesis is oxygen, the very gas we breathe. Now imagine a colossal expanse of green teeming with plants all performing this vital process. That's the Amazon for you. Spanning over 2 million square miles, it's the most extensive rainforest on Earth. Home to an estimated 400 billion individual trees, representing over 16,000 species. Just like our lungs exchange oxygen and carbon dioxide to keep us alive, the Amazon rainforest does the same for the Earth. It's estimated that the Amazon produces about 20% of the world's oxygen supply. That's one in every five breaths we take, courtesy of the Amazon. But the Amazon's role doesn't stop at oxygen production. It's also a significant carbon sink, meaning it absorbs more carbon dioxide than it releases. This ability to absorb carbon dioxide, a greenhouse gas, makes the Amazon a crucial player in mitigating climate change. Every year, the trees in the Amazon absorb roughly 2 billion tons of carbon dioxide, helping to cool the planet by acting as a natural air conditioner. However, this delicate balance is under threat as the forest shrinks due to deforestation, potentially turning the Amazon from a carbon sink into a carbon source. That's why the Amazon is so crucial in maintaining the Earth's oxygen balance and climate. It's not just a forest, it's a lifeline, a gigantic breathing mechanism that keeps our planet healthy. The Amazon truly is the lungs of the Earth, and preserving it is preserving ourselves. Beyond its role as Earth's lungs, the Amazon is a treasure trove of life. But what does that mean? Well, let's delve into that. The Amazon rainforest is like a grand living library, where each creature and plant is a unique book. It's a place where you can find a staggering variety of life forms, many of which are nowhere else to be found on Earth. In fact, the Amazon is home to approximately 400 billion individual trees, representing over 16,000 species. Imagine that. 16,000 different types of trees, and that's just the flora. As for fauna, we're talking about more than 400 mammals, 3,000 types of fish, and an astounding 1,500 bird species. And within this vast living mosaic, there are those that particularly stand out. Take for instance the Amazon River Dolphin, a creature of such unique beauty and intelligence, it's hard to believe it's real. Or the poison dart frog, so named because indigenous tribes use its toxic secretions to poison the tips of their blowgun darts. But it's not just about the numbers or the uniqueness. Each species, no matter how small or seemingly insignificant, plays a vital role in this ecosystem. They are all interconnected, contributing to the delicate balance of the Amazon's environment. 
However, this rich biodiversity is under threat. Many species are endangered, their existence hanging by a thread. The golden lion tamarind, the giant anteater and the Amazonian manatee are just a few examples of species teetering on the brink of extinction. Why is this biodiversity so important? Well, it's like an intricate, beautifully crafted watch. Each gear, each spring, each tiny piece is crucial for the watch to function. If one piece fails, the whole system can break down. The Amazon's biodiversity is truly a testament to the richness and complexity of life on our planet. It's a dazzling display of nature's creativity, resilience and interconnectedness. And it's a powerful reminder that we have a responsibility to protect and preserve this irreplaceable treasure. Scene script. Despite its vastness and importance, the Amazon faces significant threats. What are they? The Amazon, often referred to as the lungs of the earth, faces a myriad of threats that are cause for global concern. Among these, deforestation stands out as a prominent issue. Each year, an area larger than the size of Belgium is lost to logging and farming activities. This not only reduces the forest's capacity to absorb carbon dioxide, but also threatens the survival of countless species that call the Amazon home. Next on the list is climate change. Rising global temperatures have a profound impact on the Amazon's delicate ecosystem. As the planet warms, droughts become more frequent and severe in the region, leading to devastating wildfires. These fires, in turn, release vast amounts of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, further accelerating the cycle of global warming. Moreover, the Amazon is also under threat from illegal mining and wildlife trafficking. The quest for gold and other precious minerals has led to the destruction of large swaths of the forest, polluting rivers with toxic chemicals and endangering the lives of indigenous communities. Wildlife trafficking, on the other hand, strips the forest of its biodiversity, pushing many species to the brink of extinction. The impact of these threats is not limited to the Amazon or its immediate surroundings. The forest plays a vital role in regulating the world's climate by absorbing and storing carbon dioxide. Its destruction could trigger a cascade of catastrophic climate events, affecting weather patterns around the globe and threatening the livelihoods of billions. Furthermore, the Amazon is a treasure trove of medicinal plants. Many of the forest species are yet to be discovered, and their loss could mean missing out on potential cures for diseases. In short, the threats facing the Amazon are not just a regional problem, they are a global one. The health and survival of this forest have far-reaching implications for all of us, no matter where we live. The Amazon's survival is under threat, and with it the health of our planet. So, what can we do to protect the Amazon and in turn our planet? It's a question that carries weight, and it's one that needs to be addressed with urgency and determination. Firstly, let's talk about conservation. By supporting organizations that are dedicated to preserving the Amazon, we can make a significant difference. These groups work tirelessly to protect the land, its people, and its countless species. They lobby for legislation, run educational programs, and even help local communities develop sustainable businesses. But it's not just about large organizations. We, as individuals, have a role to play too. Small choices, like reducing our consumption of products linked to deforestation, can have a big impact. It's about being conscious consumers, knowing where our food and goods come from, and choosing sustainable alternatives whenever possible. On a larger scale, governments must take action. Implementing and enforcing laws that protect the Amazon and its inhabitants is crucial. It's about prioritizing the health of the planet over short-term economic gains. Stronger regulation of industries, like logging and farming, can help reduce the destruction of this precious ecosystem. Communities, too, can be powerful agents of change. By promoting sustainable practices like agroforestry, where crops are grown under the canopy of the forest, we can use the land without destroying it. Indigenous communities have been doing this for centuries, and their wisdom can guide us towards a more sustainable future. Finally, we must all strive to raise awareness. The more people understand the importance of the Amazon, the more they'll be motivated to protect it. Educate yourself, share what you learn, and encourage others to do the same. The power of knowledge cannot be underestimated. Protecting the Amazon means protecting our planet's future. It's a task that we all share. It's about embracing responsibility, taking action, and making choices that support the health and longevity of our world. After all, the Amazon is not just a forest. It's the heart of our planet, and it's up to us to keep it beating.